This is the Technio Network. I think perhaps there is some research groups in hospitals that are perhaps here, I think so. This is technological innovation areas. For the first time, we have a map on this with some specialization. European Union says a word that is called smart specialization, regional smart specialization. That means this is a sub-regional level. But from Europe, what is specialist? Because here there are many, 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 many. It's not possible to be at the first, even at the second leak in all of them. A lot of science and technology parks. How, uh, this is a nice, uh, nice picture of uh, how SMEs uh, are competing in, uh, in the seven framework uh, program, Catalan SMEs. Uh, uh, there is three main programs inside the seven framework with the cooperation from SME. This is a half position, Catalonia. This is the first region in capacities program. I think this is Lombardia, second one. In general, that's interesting map for me. Postdoctoral or doctoral positions are not recruited by SMEs because look, look, this is one, two, three, five. SMEs in Europe has three, three less doctors. I sorry, three, three times less doctors than companies in the states or in Japan. That explains why, why SMEs in Europe doesn't have good capacity to interact with the research system. Sometimes the uh, discourse habitual, uh, the general uh, speaking, is that uh, we don't, do not translate the research from the lab to the company. That's right. But also it's right that the companies, our small, that most of them, more of, most of them doesn't have the ability to talk with the research system. Who is the connector? The connector, it used to be the PhDs in many kind of companies, not in all companies. This is a regional over a score award. This is, nine, uh, I think it's uh, 20 indicators. It's the only indicator at regional level that shows uh, innovation. Catalonia is, uh, is good at the, uh, taking overall innovation performance available, but, but we are far from the leaders still. Of course, some people say, that take care of region comparisons because socioeconomic and demographic differences are very different. What is the situation of our companies in Catalonia? We got a lot of companies that doesn't export, doesn't innovate. A lot. Some companies that innovate occasionally and export occasionally. Less, less companies that <coughs> innovate systematically and also Curiously, also export systematically. The same company. And the one, large companies that innovate through research, internal. <coughs> so, the strategy is different for each kind of company. The policies of the government must be different to help these ones, to help these ones, to help these ones, or to help these ones. It's not possible to, to have the, the same helping policy to all kind of these companies. Perhaps it's the same with research groups, but in some countries has also this uh, been to, to be planned. A beginner research group or a very, 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 very um, uh, high level research group. But the policies are the same for us usually. That's perhaps a mistake. Our objective is to change the triangle and go to, I don't know if the Pentagon looks like Pentagon. Mm -hmm. So increase the number of companies that innovate systematically. And to do that, companies must have an internal systematic innovation management. And whole companies, more of them SMEs with five workers, 
can work, can do systematically innovation management. That's a challenge. What are the five main policies that uh, the research plan on Catalonia says about companies? One is that for companies that don't, do not innovate still, there are some programs to help them to say what is innovation, able to innovate. The second thing that starts here, that it puts a lot of, of, uh, a lot of programs in, is non-technological innovation. For SMEs and even from uh, any kind of organization, technology sometimes goes after thinking the business model, for instance, of the company, of the business model of the research group, of the... So non-technological innovation means, and I, is organi organizational innovation, how to manage people, how to manage the market, how to innovate through the networks, something like that. Of course, entry to the, to the new markets, that's key for the enterprise. Entering for, to new markets means that it's not the same to sell this here than to sell this in uh, Taiwan, because in Taiwan, they, they doesn't like this color, for instance. Of course, there is a huge, uh, huge room, to, huge room to, to increase the ability we have to develop new, comp new intensive companies. We have few, few, few companies that born in universities and research centers, they grow. They grow. A company without growing is not, is nothing. And also it's important uh, to attract R&D activities from multinationals or from uh, companies that uh, has uh, not only here production sites, also R&D sites, because this, these uh, companies act in three ways. One, this company will come to the hospital easily that an SME is to find a partner. This company also will come to another, the big company will come to an SME to have a partner. In Catalonia we have 3,100 there's nothing centers, we did there. Companies, uh, estrangeras, foreign firms. Of these ones, only 5% makes here uh, R&D activities, 5%. For innovative public sector, this is a new strategy in this plan with four main statements. One. Innovation in public services, that occurs. We innovate, you innovate in public service in health, a lot. But what are the public policies to help you to innovate in public services? Oop, this is another kind of things. Second one, innovative government. Government also innovates with laws, with uh, regulations, with also some services. Public procurement, this is key in your sector. Health system spends a lot of money comprant surveys with public procurement or comprant technology with technology. Public procurement is also a strategy to, uh, as has been in the States, to develop the huge, the huge program in all the world, it's called SBIR, that is, uh, is a crossover program of all the agencies in the States. This for that they call pre-competitive procurement. Pre-competitive procurement means one administration, for instance, the Catalan administration, wants to have some products that are not at the market at the moment. Because they are not at the market, you can make a pre-competitive procurement, una compra pre-competitiva, que arrenca recerca de uns quants que es volen apuntar... Perdó, he de tornar a l'anglès, és igual. Acabaré la frase. Que es volen apuntar i arriscar-se 
perquè si logren aquelles especificacions que ara no estan al mercat és segur que des de l'administració se'ls hi comprarà això està funcionant als Estats Units des de fa uns 25 anys i es diu un programa SBIR i aquí a Europa se'n donen compte que no s'entén com això no ho hem treballat força sé que des del Departament de Salut i altres departaments ja estan fent coses d'aquestes Regulations Innovation through regulation is also a key of the strategy. For instance, if you regulate that all the public parkings in Catalonia has to have 50% of the places for electric cars in five years, that means a lot of innovations in designing the parking, in designing the plaques, in designing everything. And this is only one regulation. It's two pages in the doc. Doc, D-O-C-G. Doc is not a shame. So, public sector innovation. This is the very recent Europe 2020 flagship initiative that has been presented in Brussels the 6th of October. That in the 10th main lines on the future that says we must develop better understanding of public sector innovation, identify and give visibility to successful initiative and benchmark progress. This is the first time that this statement in, in a nice and very, very, very good uh, strategy from the 2020. We have started here this, this uh, well, tres minuts. This is InnoGenCat. It is the overall innovation strategy for the Generalitat in the public sector. We identify understanding and giving visibility to new practices. We go in with some of your practices, 300 practices here. Next year we go in tunnel design, modeling and run mapping what we must do in public sector services and strategy. Number five, I go very fast now. Society and citizens involved in scientific and innovative progress. Putting society and citizens at the center of innovation process means, and service in health services, for instance, means use consumers and as promoters of innovation, consumers or users. For instance, in living labs. Living labs, that in Catalonia there are at least 55 or 75 living labs, are structures where the researchers the companies and the users work together. That means that we are very close to translational health research here. We are talking about primary um, co communities. We must go beyond the clusters to strong partnerships for co-creation and innovation. This is one, one partnership about uh, 45 uh, uh, companies and uh, universities and research centers that will work in the next seven years to innovate on, in uh, energy. There is here one, one note, SADE, AIREC, Gas Natural, UPC, University. It's important to work together with the best. It's also important to be connected. This is the 35 centers of our agency in Catalonia Innovation over the world. These centers used to only help uh, SMEs or companies to export things. These centers now are convert, converting to talent, R&D, innovative and trade centers. That's an important change in the mind. Number eight, and for me is the, one of the most important, working together to focusing on challenges. This plan identifies uh, 17 focus where Catalonia has the need or the capabilities to develop already or must do in the future good research and innovation. To address these challenges only can be done if the scientific and technological base is works together with the business and the public sector. But that's, that means not only working in one project together, that means strong partnerships at long term. 